Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. My name is Karina, and this is Karina Cleans. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Um, now, I want to apologize for not being on here for such a long time. I had some equipment issues, so if you're wondering where I went that's where I went. <laughs> so in today's video we have so much going on right now. I'm building a dresser really quick because that was on my to-do list. And we're going to be cleaning up my master bedroom. We're going to be picking up the living room, the kitchen, and we're even going to have a product review um, at the end of this video. I did shoot it a couple of months ago. Obviously, I did have some equipment issues, so I wasn't able to post it. But I am posting it now. It is not sponsored. Nobody's paying me to do this review. They just sent me the products to give my honest opinion which I definitely will, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> So if you have been here before, um, then you definitely know that so much has changed in this bedroom. It's insane. There's a new rug in here. I have a desk now. Um, the lamps are different. I hung some pictures. I took down the blinds. I did quite a few things in here. My closet is a little different. Um, I don't think I'm showing you that in today's video but you'll see it soon um there's plenty of time the house is huge so there's so many rooms to clean I'm, I'm sure you'll see it eventually but here to wipe down everything I'm just using whatever I had in the room really quick which is dressed um multi-purpose wipes um I mainly use them for like my son's toys his tables things like that but I just happen to have them in my room for some reason so that's what I'm using um, I'm just gonna quickly make the bed, you know, nothing fancy, like, I know people get really technical and fancy when they're making their beds, but I just kind of throw it together, uh, I've never been really a person to make my bed ever in my life, but my husband insists that the bed gets made, <laughs> not like every morning, but, you know, at least before we get in it at night, he he likes to have the bed made, so I've just come accustomed to making the bed now. <laughs> So what I'm using here to vacuum the floors is my Dyson um, 7. I, I don't think I'm naming it correctly, but I'll have it linked below. Uh, it's a pretty old vacuum. I mean, my boyfriend or husband had it before we even got together, so it's pretty old. Uh, we've been together for about four years now, so... I'm just using that upstairs. I only use this one upstairs. I have two different Dysons. I have this one and then I have the V11 outsize um, vacuum, which I absolutely love, but I pretty much use that one downstairs. 
mostly it, it's better with the pet hair and stuff. This one's a little bit more gentle since it's old, so. And there's really not a lot of dirt upstairs compared to downstairs, like when I mop the floors, like the, the, the water in the machine or the mop bucket is significantly different colors from upstairs as downstairs, which makes sense. So this was a two-day clean with me. So this is the next morning. That's Remy. Say hi. I think it's like 8.40 in the morning or something like that. And everything was a disaster. I did not clean up the night before, which is not typical for me. I don't remember. Maybe I wasn't feeling good or something, but I also had a lot of Valentine's projects going on here for, um, the restaurant because we update, life update, uh-huh. We bought a restaurant. Woohoo! So that's been a lot on our plate lately. So I'm just doing little projects for Valentine's Day for the tables. Nothing too crazy, because we're just getting into this restaurant stuff. It's definitely been stressful, but fun and exciting. So, but enough about me. How are you guys doing? Is anything different in your life since the last time I posted on here? Um, have you gotten married? Did you get kids? Did you change jobs? Did you move? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you're new here, go ahead and say hello, introduce yourself. I, I love to get to know you guys and really be, build a community here on YouTube. So if you're interested in anything that I'm using throughout the video, if I don't talk about it, um, I'm sorry, I probably forgot to, but everything will most likely be linked in the description down below if you see anything you're interested in. But what I'm using right now is Jaws Kitchen Degreaser. I love the Jaws products. Let me just start there. Um, if you've been here before, you know that... I it's like the main products that I use is Jaws throughout my house. Um, they have so many different ones. They have a multi-purpose one. They have a kitchen. They have glass, bathroom, disinfectant. Um, my favorite thing about these is you fill them up with water, you stick in the little pods, and you save plastic. The little pods are cheaper than buying a brand new bottle of cleaner every time. You can get them on Amazon or through their website. Um... I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just genuinely love their products. I found them from another YouTuber. So shout out to Jamie's Journey. You can go check her out. <laughs>
So now we're in my kitchen and we are going to clean out my garbage can drawer. I have one of those garbages that is like a drawer in the kitchen, which is kind of cool. So I like that look over having like an actual garbage can in the kitchen. But on the other hand, it ends up getting neglected way more often than like a regular garbage can. So it's time. I know that everybody has that one part in their house that they just forget to clean no matter what. So I'm giving this a good vacuum, a good disinfectant wipe down with, of course, the famous Jaws disinfectant cleaner. Um, little piece of information, all of the Jaws products are non-toxic except for the disinfectant because, well, it's a disinfectant. It can't be non-toxic. And just another little tip here, I just take some Gain Scent beads in a little mesh bag and I put them at the bottom of my trash cans. It really helps to keep them smelling fresh and clean. So definitely try that trick out if you have smelly garbage cans. <laughs> So we really aren't doing anything too crazy in the kitchen today. We're just, you know, doing the nightly clean routine, but during the day. So just dishes wiped down. We're going to do a quick vacuum and we're going to do a quick mop with a brand new mop, which I'm so excited to show you. I absolutely adore this thing. So get ready for that. I'm so excited. <laughs>
So I'm just giving my floors a quick vacuum with the Dyson V11. I already talked about it a little bit earlier in this video, but he is definitely a pricey vacuum. I don't know why I call it a he, but I think it's because it's like one of the biggest Dysons and it's kind of top heavy. I'm not going to lie. It is a fantastic vacuum. It is in definitely like a higher end budget vacuum. Um, definitely a really pricey vacuum. Like, I don't think I would spend this amount of money on a vacuum more than once, <laughs> like ever in my life. So don't think just because I have like three vacuums and five mops and, you know, two wet dry vacs that you need to like have all of this too. I just, I have a problem. I like vacuums and I like to test out new products for you guys. So here's the new mop I was talking about. This is the Bissell uh, Spin Wave Cordless Mop and it is wireless. It comes with two sets of mop heads and you just use the Bissell Hard Floor Sanitizer solution and you mix that in with the water. It's pretty self-explanatory. You turn it on, you spray the water, and it spins. So you're, I'm really not doing anything. Like, I'm just guiding the mop and pressing the button, and it's doing all of the work for me. I mean, the wet-dry vacs do the same thing, but this one is just, I don't know. It's just, it's just something different, and it, there's no messy cleanup um so that's one of the things that i really love about this too is you just take the mop heads off and you put them in the washer um so it doesn't get any easier than that so and you can buy replacement mop pads every couple of months if you need to but if you wash them immediately after you're done using them i've noticed that the upkeep is very easy and all you do is plug it in when you're done. That, like, seriously, that's it. Like, it's probably the easiest a piece of equipment that I have in my cleaning closet to maintain. It's very simple, and it does a phenomenal job. So here I'm just going to be sending out my Narwhal T10 vacuum to mop the dining, I mean not mop, I'm sorry, vacuum the dining room while I am cleaning up on the other side of the gate. I'm going to be picking up the dog stuff, cleaning his bowls, and giving this floor on this side a good scrub down along with the windows because I have a Newfoundland, his name is Charlie. So if you know anything about Newfies, they are so sloppy like they're probably he's probably one of the dirtiest animals I've ever had in my entire life um but he is a very rewarding dog to own <laughs> he is such a sweetheart he is a good boy like I've never had a better dog ever um messier he's the messiest dog I've ever had but the best dog I've ever had um so he is very like, he slobbers a lot. Like, I'm talking, like, he's like the Beethoven dog, almost. Like, when he's done drinking from his water, he'll, like, it'll be, like, dripping from his face, and he'll shake his face, and, like, the drool will go everywhere. I'm talking on the walls, the floors, the ceilings, the windows, the curtains, the rugs, everywhere. Like, the furniture. So, I am constantly deep cleaning everything because uh, between the mixture of the three of them, it's insane in this house. <laughs>
Okay, this is a little embarrassing what you guys are going to see, but this is the bar sink. This is where we dump out the dog's water bowl and fill it. Look how gross that is. I am so embarrassed to show you, but this is real life and we're cleaning it up together. All better. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. That was super gross. I don't know what that was and I don't want to know what it was. I just wanted it to be clean. I know that we've all been there before. Don't know what it is. Let's just clean it and pretend it never happened. <laughs> So the solution I'm going to show you here is the same solution that I use for pretty much all of my Bissell products like the corded cross wave, the cordless cross wave, the um, cordless spin mop. I use the same solution for all three of them um, and it's super cool so I don't have to buy like a ton of different things. I buy one thing for all three of them which is super helpful and cost effective. So the corded cross wave and the cordless cross wave, they both have a setting to do area rugs, which is super cool because most of the everything in my house is hardwood and then I have a couple of area rugs throughout the house. So it's not like I need like an actual, you know, like carpet shampoo or I have a little hand one for like if I need to do some spots or whatever, but yuck, look at that water. So glad it's off my floor, but that is disgusting. And this happens every time I clean my floor. It doesn't matter if I do it every day. That's just like the product of one, my husband wears shoes on this side of the house. It's where his office is. Two, this is where the dog hangs out most of the time. And three, it's kind of like the front part of the house where, you know, the dog comes in there, the dog eats there, the dog plays there. Like it's it's so bad. It's so bad on this area. I really should like find some type of like scheduled routine or get like a robot for this side of the house or something because the floors are just so gross all the time. I don't even know what to do. Like it's crazy to me. So I had to do two rounds with the cross wave on the floors on this side and I didn't even like do the office or the pool room or the bathroom or anything. I just did like the bar area and the front foyer area you see here. I don't know what else to call it. Like isn't that what it's called right? A foyer area? I don't know. Let me know if you know what this area of the house is called in the comments down below because I could be right. I could be wrong. I have no idea. <laughs> So I wanted to take a second to say thank you if you've made it this far in the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you that come here and take the time out of your day to watch my videos and clean along with me. I really appreciate returning subscribers and new ones too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all so much. So here's the much waited and um, much wanted 
product review. Thank you Super Clean for sending me these products to test out and give my honest opinion. So here's just a close-up of the things that you could use some of these products on and today I'm going to be using it on my oven. So my oven is really bad. Very very bad. I don't I didn't expect perfect results from these products, so first and foremost, I will say that no, it did not get my oven completely spotless. Oh, and please wear gloves because I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why, but please do wear gloves when you're spraying this on. And I let it sit for some time, but I didn't expect this oven to be completely spotless, and that's fine, but I will say it did a phenomenal job for like considering how bad my oven was so combined with this product I'm using the spray on one first the foaming one to begin with and I'm just using a scrub daddy sponge to scrub it down after I've let it sit for some time I probably should have let it sit for longer but I was on a time crunch <laughs> and uh just so you know, this was shot a couple of months ago, so yes, my hair is blonde. So, you know, this is old, but still relevant. <laughs> my oven always looks like this. And I'm just using paper towels to wipe up the excess after I've, you know, scrubbed it with the scrub daddy. And to follow that up, I'm going to be using the spray cleaner too. I'm just, here I am just reading the directions a little bit. Spraying it on, scrubbing it down again, and after this, I did rinse the oven down, like, good. Like, very good with some water in a spray bottle. The one thing I didn't like about this product, <laughs> the chemical smell was so incredibly strong that I don't know if I would use this indoors again. I definitely would love to try this on my grill or something, but I don't think I would be using this product again inside my home. And that's just my personal opinion. I don't like the smell of strong chemicals. Sometimes, yeah, you gotta get your, you know, your hands dirty with the chemicals because natural products just don't do the job. But comparatively, I believe that I have gotten similar results with the pink stuff and it's non-toxic so overall it. that's my honest opinion on this product i do like it i don't like the smell of it but i do like the results that it gives so we're nearing the end of this video here and i just want to say thank you for coming thank you for watching my channel and don't forget Get to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. I will be posting videos every Sunday from now on, starting now. <laughs> so thank you guys. Love you. Can't wait to see you again soon. Bye.